Hello, and welcome to HubSpot Tutorials by Webdo. I am Mike, your guide and friend, and our today's tutorial is about how to add re-enrollment triggers to a workflow in HubSpot. By default, records only enrolled in workflows the first time they meet the workflow enrollment triggers or are enrolled manually. You can use re-enrollment triggers to allow records to be re-enrolled in your workflows. In this tutorial, we will show you how to do this. To add re-enrollment triggers to contact based workflows. In your HubSpot account, navigate to Automation and click Workflows. Click the name of a contact based workflow. Click the Contact Enrollment Trigger box. In the right panel, click the Re-Enrollment tab. Select the Allow Contacts who meet the enrollment triggers to re-enroll when any one of the following occurs checkbox. Select the triggers you want to use for re-enrollment. Once done, click Save. To add re-enrollment triggers to company, deal, ticket, quote, or custom object-based workflows. Click the workflow type at the top and select any one of the objects mentioned above here. We are selecting deal-based workflows. Once done, then click the name of your deal-based workflow. Click the Objects Enrollment Trigger box. In the right panel, click the Re-Enrollment tab. Click to toggle the Re-Enrollment switch on. Select the triggers you want to use for re-enrollment. Once done, click Save. That's how you can add re-enrollment triggers to a workflow in HubSpot. Thanks for watching. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section, and we will be happy to answer. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and press the bell icon to subscribe to our channel. To know about our HubSpot services, visit us on www.webdo.com.